Airport compatibility tests were successfully conducted at some of the busiest airports worldwide, starting with Frankfurt Fraport, followed by London Heathrow and Singapore Changi. These tests confirmed the quick and efficient solutions implemented on the A380 to expedite the servicing, the catering, the cargo handling and the operation of the special passenger bridges that allow simultaneous passenger access to the two decks of the aircraft. Flight tests conducted at Medellin in Colombia, an airport located at an altitude of 1,538 meters, have proven the A380's capability to operate from very high altitude airports. For its first visit to North America, the A380 went to Iqaluit on Baffin Island, north of Labrador, where it was exposed to the Canadian winter. The A380 was left to soak in the cold for 12 hours with all its power shut down under temperatures as low as minus 31 degrees Celsius. Then the aircraft was woken from its frozen hibernation, its power reconnected, its systems and engines restarted. This test is a real challenge on the design of nearly every system as they may become frozen solid or lose their operating characteristics in the Arctic cold. During this northern tour, Airbus mechanics who travelled with the aircraft conducted a wide range of line maintenance activities, proving that even under such extreme conditions, an operator could still perform many maintenance actions outside a maintenance hangar. Al Ain in the United Arab Emirates and Addis Ababa in Ethiopia were the chosen locations for the hot weather operation test campaign. Hot weather mostly affects the aircraft takeoff performance and the functioning of the air systems on the ground. Such conditions may also be a design case for the cooling of avionics or for the aircraft turnaround time with hot brakes. The minimum ground control speed tests recreate the conditions of a sudden engine failure during takeoff. When one engine is deliberately shut down, the aircraft pulls to one side and the crew must then assess the aircraft's ability to take off while controlling the trajectory using only the rudder and compensating for the loss of thrust. <laughs> 